Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the easiest sourdough pretzels ever. So, if you'd like to know how to make your own, stay tuned. Let's get started. In the first step, we're gonna go ahead and mix the pretzel dough ingredients. You'll want to add your water and your sourdough starter the honey and the salt to the bowl of a stand mixer and I like to stir those around just to get everything nice and evenly incorporated. Then you'll add your bread flour and again before I put it on the stand mixer I just like to kind of get everything incorporated. You don't have to do that but go ahead and use the dough hook attachment and mix this on the lowest speed for anywhere from five to seven minutes. It's a very stiff dough, so if you don't have a stand mixer, you can knead this by hand for about 10 minutes. Now we are going to go ahead and let this ferment overnight or for 10 to 12 hours at room temperature. And then we can go on to the next step. So we are going to shape the pretzels. Divide the dough into 16 pieces. And with each of those little pieces, you're going to create this rope shape. And you can see that I start in the middle of the dough and I work my hands to the outer points of the, the rope. And this will help create a more even um, dough throughout. Then you can see that I'm twisting the ends twice and just pressing that down into a pretzel shape. And we're going to put these onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And then after you're finished, you're going to cover those and let these rise until they're puffy, which usually takes about 30 to 60 minutes. So we'll go ahead and slow this process down for the last one so that you can see how this, how I'm shaping these. It's a very stiff dough. There's no flour on the countertop and you can put a lot of tension on these. You can even, um, if you're ha still having trouble getting it to shape into that long rope shape, you can take it on each end and just kind of twirl it around almost like a jump rope and that will help to stretch that dough out for you. So just twist those ends and press them down and that's, that's it, that's all you gotta do. So just put that on the baking sheet. Now while those are rising, we're gonna get a water bath ready. That's six cups of water, two tablespoons of baking soda, and one tablespoon of dark brown sugar. If you don't have dark brown sugar, just use whatever sugar you have, but I recommend adding this because I have found if you don't add sugar to this water bath, the pretzels have a very metallic-y taste uh, from the baking soda. So you're going to do the next step which is we're going to boil these pretzels um, for 30 seconds on each side. Now if your pretzel falls to the bottom of the uh, pot, don't worry, just take your strainer or spatula and gently nudge them uh, and they will start to float. So after 30 seconds, you want to flip them over and let them cook on the other side for 30 seconds. Once they're done, go ahead and place them back on that parchment paper. Again, you need your oven to be preheating during this step to 425. So once all of these have been boiled and they're back on the parchment paper, you want to brush them with an egg wash, which is simply just one egg that has been lightly beaten in a bowl. Just use a little pastry brush to just put a really light coating on each one. This is gonna help them to develop color and give them a nice shiny exterior. And then I'm using some large flaky sea salt. You can use coarse salt or just whatever salt you have, 
or just omit the salt. Anyway, just bake those for about 12 to 14 minutes and there you go. So that's it you guys. That's how easy it is to make these sourdough pretzels. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because we love to share easy sourdough recipes with you. So until next time, bye.